Hey everyone, how's it going? So I'm in the Saturn, I'm just taking for a test drive, just replaced the uh, wheel bearings in it, and quiet, so much more quiet. It was really bad, it was mostly the passenger side wheel bearings, so when I turned left, it was made a grindy, grindy rumbly noise, that's technical turn, grindy, grindy rumbly. And so I did it first, I replaced it, and I'd ordered both wheel bearings. And so I did it, and then it was pretty easy, so I figured I may as well just do them both, because the other one, if that one's gone, the other one's surely not too far behind. Sorry, that's the steering wheel in front of you. There you go. Um, yeah, so they're done, and everything sounds good. Much better. I What else did I do? Uh, I did a video of this car. I changed the valve cover gasket. Tomorrow I gotta pressure wash the engine to get some of the oil off it and make sure everything's good. But I want to get the wheel bearing done first. Uh, those of you that follow me on Instagram will see that I I bought a, a bearing wheel bearing front wheel bearing adapter press kit thingy. Um, it was virtually useless. It, it's a 23 piece set, so it should cover most wheel bearings, but it didn't have the right size for this one. So I ended up falling back on the old trick of welding a bead around the bearing, the outer bearing race and it shrunk it enough so I was able to pop it out no problem. I'll show you when I get back to the garage. I'm just headed home now. Just thought I'd record a quick little video while I was out on a test drive. Beautiful day out today. Fortunately, it's starting to cloud over and looks like it's going to rain. So anyway, I'll stop this here and come back to you when I get back to the garage. See you in a bit. Hey everyone. Okay, I'm back in the garage here. Um, Again, those of you that follow me on Instagram would see that I bought this a few days ago. It's a 23-piece front-wheel drive bearing adapter puller press. Um, you can basically use it to pull and install bearings on the car. You can see it comes with the different, lots of different bearing sizes. My problem was there wasn't one that fit. Here's the bearing I was taking out of the bearing, the race that stayed in there. Just too small wouldn't fit um yeah and it wouldn't fit through the knuckle it was just odd Not, none of these would fit um so what i had to do was the old like this was in there really good so if you look you see i just ran a weld bead all around the the where the the bearings ride on in the race there um really hot really hot fast ugly bead where are you there you go you can see it nothing pretty but it was enough to to uh, heat this up and then cool and, and shrink and pull the bearing. So it just popped right out, no problem. I just hit it with a chisel, tapped it on there and it slid right out. Thank God, I was getting worried I was gonna have to buy something else to press it out, but the welding trick works. So I got that out. Um, it was handy for putting it back together using my 12 ton shop press. I was able to use these to push the bearing in and the cups to support it and stuff. So it was handy. It wasn't useless. It was useless for taking the bearing out, but it was handy for putting it back in. And this won't be the last wheel bearing. It's not the first, and it certainly won't be the last wheel bearing I've done. So just because it doesn't work in that car, which was a 97 Saturn, doesn't mean it won't work elsewhere. So anyway, and it was cheap. I only paid like 100 bucks for it, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, another thing I ordered came today. I was surprised because I ordered this like less than a week ago. You know how Amazon is saying even for Prime, they're prioritizing delivery, so nothing's coming quickly. So when this came, I was a bit, what is this? And then I remembered, this was an Amazon deal of the day for 10 bucks. And I got five of them is what they came with. Five of these, they're really cool. They're just little digital temperature and, and uh, humidity gauges. So it's currently 17 degrees Celsius in here, which sounds about right, and 38% humidity, which is probably about right. Um, let's see, let me just do a little quick check here and test it against another one. I just want one to put in my car and, you know, good to have in the garage, especially if you paint to know what the humidity is and all the temperature is always handy. So this one should be the same. Seventeen point one and thirty-six percent humidity, but 
It will change. I'll bet you they'll equalize if I left them long enough. So anyway, there you have it. And again, they were like one of those Amazon deals of the day. I wasn't looking for a temperature and humidity gauge, but for 10 bucks, I thought, what the hell? And then they showed up so early, like a, less than a week after I ordered them. I was pretty surprised. Get rid of that box in the, the bubble full of Chinese air. Another thing I got, I'll move you back for this. This big box, this was delivered the other day. I was on a Facebook group and people were talking about creepers. Um, and another guy, this is a, just a regular Facebook group, not a Canadian one. Another Canadian, they have to say, hey, if you're in Canada, Princess Auto has this one on sale. So I ordered it right away. Because right now, I've been using this one for eons, like over 20 years. And it's one of these ones that you can loosen this up and it folds up. So it's handy for that. But it's really shitty. I mean, you can see this is crappy. It's just really poorly made. And it's, I've more than gotten my use out of it. Um, it also, where's the hole? You can see there, that hole there. That's where I shot the arrow from the crossbow tube. So I ordered this one. Yeah. Let's take a look, see. I haven't even opened it yet. It's like one of those bone creeper style things. And it was 38 bucks at Princess Auto. Steal of a deal. Sports up to 300 pounds, which I am nowhere near. It's lightweight. Let's pull it out of the package here. Okay. Before I take it out of the box, let's show you a picture of what's on the box here. Performance tool. Creeper, plastic creeper, six caster, blah, 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 blah. As you'll see when I get it out of the box. Here. Decent sized wheels, which is nice so you don't get stuck rolling over a cotter pin. Has a handle in the bottom. There we go. Stand that there. You guys can see it all. So it's got a little padded headrest. Place where your arms go through so you're you're practically ground level at your shoulders you're like an inch off the ground down here it's got a couple little trays for tools and nuts and bolts and such it says performance tool it does indeed have six six swivel casters um, it looks pretty well made feels well made and for the price i'm not going to complain we'll see i imagine the only way i can break this thing is if i run it over or, shoot it with a crossbow again. So that should be good. Let's see, let's spin you around and give it a roll across the floor. Hold on, I'm coming. There we go. Rolls pretty good, my grubby hands. Wash your hands when you're done watching this video. So yeah, so that's about it. Um, more stuff I gotta do. This is the uh, 99 bucks, 23 piece front wheel drive, puller bearing adapter set, part number WTO4B1025. 100 bucks, again, it said, not particularly handy for this one, but it certainly made installing the bearing a lot easier, and I'm sure it'll come in handy in the future. And also, I managed to save myself some ammo for the slingshot. Uh, I kept some of the, the bearing pieces for future use in case I gotta do another Saturn to use them as press tools. Um, 
this part was actually this part that stayed on the, the hub and there was no way to pull it off so I had to use the grinder and cut it at an angle you just cut it and then I took a chisel and whacked it and it split it apart enough that it just slid right off so everything went fairly smoothly it was just everything was so rusted and, and stuck on nothing was particularly difficult I mean pretty much anybody could do this if you're comfortable working around cars um, but there's lots of videos on it that's why I didn't do a video of changing the wheel bearing because there's I don't know when I was looking for the torque specs for the the hub nut I must have found like 25 different videos doing the same thing so I didn't think I needed to add to that so anyway that's it now I've got to clean up the garage and find a place to put this if you look above my toolbox I've got a shelf up there and all these blow molded cases full of pullers and various specialty tools it's getting pretty heavy on that shelf so I don't want to add this thing this thing's pretty heavy I'd say it's about 25 pounds ish maybe 30 um, so yeah need to find a place to put it. It's not going to get used all that often. Maybe I'll just roll it underneath the toolbox. Something like that. Um, that's about it. I think I'm going to clean up now before it gets dark and, and rainy. Hop on one of the mini bikes and go for a cruise around the hood. Um, maybe I'll take the go-kart. Don't know. Probably mini bike. Anyway, that's it. Um, when you're doing this stuff, Wear safety glasses, or better yet, a face shield. Um, but at least protect your eyes at the very minimum. When using a press or anything like that, you don't know what's going to happen. And you know how it goes. I mean, it's a one in a million shot. You couldn't do it if you try, but if you're squeezing something, it's going to shoot out and go straight for your eye. It never fails. Anyway, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody's staying safe out there. Again, wash your hands. You know, there you go. Take it easy and have a good rest of the week. See you later.